from Coach Arthur's line and now. Coach Arthur, a tough defeat, another one on the road. How do you explain what happened today? Yeah, we obviously started very slow. You know, very sloppy at the back. Uh, we actually planned for this, you know. Uh, the only thing that we didn't do right was to execute the plan. We knew that they want to drop the ball behind, and that is why we, we came with three, you know, uh, defenders so that we can close those spaces and the wing backs so that we can confront, you know, uh, their full backs when they come. But we set at the back and we were on the straight line. And uh, we allowed them, I think, about uh, four of those balls that led to the goal before there was, you know, we had sort of like a warning. And uh, still the guys couldn't read it, you know. And we considered too early in the game. And now once you concede early, now you answer that you are chasing the game. They take, take, take terms. Uh, then we look like we are back in the game. But, uh, uh, you know, we just did not get it right. First half, second half, I think uh, we, we came back a different team, you know. Uh, we were just unfortunate not to score one that maybe could have maybe you know, brought, us, brought us back into the game. And uh, the few chances we created, we couldn't take them. And uh, we considered from a dead ball situation again, you know, which is something that we're trying to avoid, that we know that they're going to play far post. They usually, you know, uh, play far post. And yeah. And uh, when you are chasing a game like that, then we were bound to concede the third one. And yeah, but I think uh, the boys gave their best. Unfortunately, you know, we couldn't score and also let in uh, two goals. So yeah, uh, we'll learn from this game, then we move on. Was there anything, I know you're still going to analyze it afterwards, but from where you were sitting, was there anything that could have been done to avoid those two goals to prevent them to defend better? Yeah, we knew. We said if there's no pressure on the ball, you know, obviously Mukeke, he, he'll go short, but he's looking for the wing back, you know, to go at high speed so that he can connect. And if there's no pressure on, on Mukeke, then just drop and center, you know. They did not. They were just standing flat-footed, and that is why, like I'm saying, if, before, like I said, before they scored the first goal, uh, they, were, we had, they had about three, four similar, you know, still we were flat-footed. And uh, we, we started maybe getting better after considering a goal. Then second half, we managed to deal with that, but then we considered, uh, you know, from a dead ball situation. What did you change at the start of the second half? Because it was, as you mentioned, a period of vast improvement for Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, I think in the middle, we had four, they had, uh, they had three. So we played, you know, with two, you know, number tens. We said they must come short so that we overload the middle. We'll force them inside. Once they now have to bring in more players, you know, inside, then we'll, we'll obviously we have width because Soli was already outside and that side Reeve was already, you know, waiting for the ball. But we just couldn't connect. Several times we caught them napping, but we did not punish them. We went, you know, Final, uh, final third entry, at, at, at some stage, you know, there was a time we just needed a final pass just, you know, to convert, but we couldn't. So Jota, I think, had one, wanted to play a cutback, and Nange, you know, Kama, and the second half, Kama had about four or five of those similar, where they were played in the near post. Unfortunately, you know, uh, his first touch let him down. But these are the things that, you know, uh, they want to come right. It, it's a work in progress, and we'll, we'll get it right at some point. Tough luck tonight, coach. Thank you so much.